the Sufi methodology. In the beginning, I had abstained to reveal such information. No such knowledge can at all help the aspirants to attain to these states. It is while in the tawajjo of the master that these stages are cleared. Various stages of nafs, ruh and kalb are cleared. Even then the aspirants do not understand these A rare aspirant who is bestowed with the authority to guide the aspirants along the path and he really understands these. It was the ilham of Sheikh Ahmed Faruqi Mujaddid Alipsani that played the way for this. While I was doing the maktubat of the Sheikh, many things were played. First it was Sheikh Prajmohan Lal who bestowed the authority of a Sheikh when I was only 8 months old. Much later this was confirmed by another Sheikh of the order, Sufi Shakuntala Devi, who not only instilled the insatiable quest but also confirmed that this has already been conferred on you with the passage of time everything will reveal itself i was waiting for the ilham from the ma sheikh and it came when i was overflowing sheikh ahmad al faruqi it is the outcome of this ilham that i am now completing this overflow I felt the time has come that such understanding is necessary for the aspirant along the path. The Sufi cosmology explains various practices that the aspirant is to follow along the path. First is Dhikr. It is also known as Zikr. It refers to remembrance of God commanded in the Quran for all Muslims. It is important not only for Muslims but for all the seekers along the path. It is known as remembrance. It can be done in any form. Six do in the form of Satnam, Nam Sumiran, remembrance of the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala name that is called Nam Sumiran. Hindus also use as the Jab which means continuously counting on a bead or finger so that it engraves on the heart or the kal. To engage in a zikr is to have the awareness of God according to Islam. Dhikr as a devotional act includes the repetition of the divine name, supplications and aphorisms from hadith literature and sections of the Quran. More generally, any activity in which the Muslim maintains awareness of God is considered as dhikr or zikr. The practice of marakba and dhikr has very close resemblance with the practice of Jewish mystics. Marakba is very similar to markwa practice which is one of the meditations used by Kabbalists to attain higher states of consciousness. Some Sufi orders engage in ritualistic zikr ceremonies, the liturgy of which may include recitation, singing, instrumental music, dance, costume, incense, meditation, ecstasy and trance. All these things help in many ways along the path to the seekers. As I had mentioned earlier, each system uses a particular terminology, the names for the same act. Water is a life-giving substance, but different communities call or know it in different forms but the basic quality of water remains the same it quenches your thirst it maintains the pH level in the body and creates the fluid levels in the body but it is called by different names water jal ab and other aqua 
H2O these are the various names of the same fluid which is life giving. Remembrance of God can be done in many ways through constant zikr in a static position or in a dynamic position while there is a movement all along. You are driving, you are doing other acts. If that remembrance continues within the heart, the zikr is continuing. In the beginning, it is done mechanically. Any slight disturbance disturbs it. But later on, it becomes just like your heartbeat, which is continuously happening, but this remains as an unconscious act for you. Breathing, you have no control over it. The circulation of the blood or the pumping of the heart and the sound that comes in the process of pumping of the blood you have is an automated process over which you have no control. But you can be aware of it. You can be aware of your breath. Breathing has three steps. Breath comes in and there is a process when breath is coming. You only know breath is coming, but there are many stages of it. Breath has reached the nostril, it is still outside. It is now beginning to come within. It takes a while before it reaches the solar plexus or Hara center. This all includes in the process of incoming breath. Then breath for a fraction of a second pauses it turns it is it has a downward movement and then its movement changes to move upward this is also a stage first the breath is outside now it knocks at your nostrils the gate through which it comes in it passes through your windpipe reaches the solar plexus the movement is downward then it begins to turn to have an upward movement these are the various stages and one of the hindu scriptures known as vigyan bhairav tantra in wherein shiva gives 112 techniques of meditation to his concert devi no meditation technique is beyond this there are many manifestations of these techniques which Shiva has given to Devi as his concert. In that very much in detail, the breathing techniques have been given. And each stage is an important stage. Dikri is considered to be one aspect of it. In Zikri, we only repeat the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It should begin when we start saying Allah who, Allah who. It carries various stages. When you say Allah, feel it. Allah gives you the movement of the breath. But we are not aware of this. Our focus is only on the words Allah who. And we do it mechanically. When you recite the word who, it hammers your solar plexus because it is called Zarab in Sufi cosmology. Zarab, Zarab comes on the solar plexus and it is the solar plexus that you are connected to the cosmos or to what you call in Sufi terminology Allah. In the mother's womb, you are connected to her through the umbilical cord and in existence you are connected through the solar plexus to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It has an important role. In the beginning it remains dormant and as it is continuously hammered with the sound of who, then it awakens and establishes your connection with the cosmos or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why we do not know what is the intricacies of this, why and in what stages this particular zikr has to be performed. We do it mechanically. Allah, Allah, Allah. 
it has to be said in such a way that there is a complete awareness how the sound has to emerge take birth in you then its continuation and how it should finish allahu allahu allah and when you are hammering your solar plexus it passes through the various stages of breathing that has been mentioned in vigyan bhairav tantra with the sound of allah allah ko it should be with a conscious effort so it becomes not a ritual but it becomes a conscious act some of the sufi orders engage in ritualistic zikr and more so zikr ceremonies and the liturgy of which may include recitation singing instrumental music dance costumes incense meditation ecstasy and trance all these things help in one way or the other but your emphasis should be on awakening if these things zikr does not invoke your heart center then the purpose of zikr is not fulfilled in the beginning up to hazrat shah bahauddin naqshband razi allah taala no it used to be loud with this labial sound zikr zehr means you are doing this zikr outwardly with the sound thereafter he introduced zikr khafi where no sound is created instead the sound hammers within and it becomes more effective you start with zikr zehr then it becomes zikr khafi as hindus have classified at the when you are creating this sound and then the sound is not created but the, it is continuing deep within this is known as ajapa cha means that is not being done but it is happening you are aware that with every breath this particular sound is being created so unless your zikr that has begun with sound expressed in the outer world as zikr zehr it is not transformed into zikr khafi the silent recitation the process is not complete this is a vehicle that you use to reach to the particular station where celebration is taking place each one of you when they have to go to the mosque or a place of worship or place of entertainment you may use a hired vehicle or you may use your own vehicle or somebody may get a ride with you or you may get a ride with someone the vehicles may be of different types but the vehicle is only to transport you from your place to the place of entertainment or worship where there is a huge congregation heart center is that place or kalp is that place where the celebration is constantly happening you have to reach from the outer level the body level body consciousness to the heart consciousness you use zikr as a vehicle and when you reach there do you remain sitting in the vehicle or you hop out of the vehicle and enter the place of congregation zikr is that vehicle that takes you to the heart center to be part of the constant celebration that is taking place within constant celebration that is taking place within and this process that happens when you reach to the heart center and your consciousness is not wavered or moving from the heart center to outside to the outer world of conflict duality pain and pleasure then it is known as your heart center or kalp is zakir is involved then actually the process of spiritual transformation begins first kalp has to be zakir invoked then your center of ruh has to be invoked and unless these happens you have not been on the spiritual path you are simply in the outer realm 
you are traveling changing your vehicles from one vehicle to another reach to the one spot and you realize that the venue has changed or this is the venue where there is a dance celebration going on then there is a next venue from there where you have to travel to so you again hop into the vehicle and travel to the next destination where the food arrangement is where the food is taking place and when you had done this then you have to travel back to go to another place where the arrangement has been made for you to stay for three days or four days so these various stages kal and ru can be explained in that way so that you do not remain stuck at a particular point or consider zikr to be very important zikr is the vehicle it is important to take you from your destination from your place of residence which is a worldly place place full of duality conflict and that from there you are going to a place which is a solitary which is full of a different kind of aroma environment and everything and when you are established there that means you have attained or invoked the place of the heart center or the kal the which is known as kalb ka mukam kalb is zakir is invoked from there you move to another location which is the ru ka mukam then actually you are established in allah subhanahu wa taala and the journey continues i will continue to explain these terminologies one after the other